Right guys, so today's video we're going to be looking at a part two for the, the food tasting stuff that we did. When we first got here it was quite overwhelming, just the unique and amazing, wonderful things that you can find in the supermarket that are unique to Portugal I'm assuming. Um, so yeah, we're going to look for some other things that we can try and we're going to take you for the the trip, I suppose. Yeah, we're going to grab a few different bits from the supermarket. So we'll look around the bakery section, the fruit and veg section. I don't really know what else there is, like the fridge section. Yeah, like snacks and stuff as well, like crisps yeah. and things like that. Yeah, and we'll get a bunch of things and try. So we'll make sure this part two is much more a bigger tasting session and more traditional things that we see in every supermarket, things like that. Lidl and got loads of bits to try for this big video because the first one we did was really little and we didn't you know we just thought we could do it way better so anyway this is the freshly pressed orange juice that they do in store they do this in the UK and I'm sure millions of places but we just thought we'd give it a try anyway it's nice but it's just messy <laughs> yeah because the the carton bottle things aren't very good. Yeah, it's going everywhere. It's okay. It is freshly pressed, so you know it's fresh. How much did we pay for that? One two forty nine? No, one thirty nine I think. Are you sure? It might have been two, I don't know. I can't remember how much we paid for it. <clears throat> but um just thought we'd try because it, it might be loads of oranges and stuff. Yeah. We hope. But I do wonder if it's just cheaper to get the all natural 100% orange juice that was literally Probably. in the fridge that's <laughs> much cheaper. Anyway, um, stay tuned for us to try everything else. So we're back now from the supermarket. You'll have seen clips of little bits that we got. Um, we've actually got quite a lot and there's a lot of sweet stuff. So we don't know whether we're going to try it all in one big taste session or if we'll split it across like two days or something. But... I guess you'll see in this video. So this is how the potatoes look. They kind of, they kind of look like a sweet potato texture inside, but then they've got this kind of like almost green color. So we'll try them and see what we think. Kind of tastes like normal potato, but really sweet. Not like sweet potato, but like normal white potato, but with a bit, it's a bit sweeter as well. So we're going to get the bit without the cheese on it. Uh -huh. It's hot. It is literally like a mix between a sweet potato and a normal potato. It really is. It's like a cross between the two. It tastes like white potato, but it's sweeter. Yeah, it's um, maybe my new favourite potato. 
And it's got a purple skin as well, which is like, I don't know, it's just something about that purple skin I like. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, part two of the Portuguese goodies taste testing. <laughs> goodies. This time we've tried to pick actually, like, specifically Portuguese stuff, not things to compare to the UK. Maybe except one thing. Um, but we tried to pick localised products. See, I've also got a national beer that I'm going to try for the first time. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Sagres. Sagres. <laughs> Bohemia. It's a really strong beer. Um, I just thought I'd try that as well. Um, but yeah, so we've got the national melon, I believe. That's what it said in the supermarket anyway, didn't it? Yeah. We've got the, um, we've left this to ripen since last time. It's starting to split now, so we think it's pretty much ready. Um, the sugar apple. Yeah, I don't know. Is that the actual name? Yeah, I believe so, but not in Portuguese. That's like the English name. Okay. Um, we've got like the... A whole different selection of cakes. We're just going to put the name up on the screen yeah, as we we'll eat put it. it on the because our Portuguese is, well, it's still really bad, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we're, still, we're still trying. We are trying, but so anyway. I think we should start with the fruit again, like the last yeah. time. Yeah. Maybe have the melon first, do you think? Yeah. I think it'd be not. It's basically like a honeydew but not a sweet. Well, I do like it though. Mm, I like it. Sometimes a honeydew melon can be too sweet, I think, and this is like, I thought like this is just refreshing with the heat and the climate here and stuff. Especially if you put it in the fridge. Mm. It'd be quite nice. We've had quite a few different types of melons that I've been here, haven't we? But we haven't had the national one yet, so we've had a few. We did have. We had the I what we, we think is a local one. I think that this is like the the less ripe version because there's a yellow one that yeah. looks similar. We've had the yellow one. And that's nice. That's I'm sweeter. sure that one said national. Yeah. The national and yellow. So I think maybe it's like peppers where like they start green and the more they ripen or the more they're longer they're on the plant they um Yeah. They start to change colour. Right, so we've just quickly YouTubed how to actually eat it, haven't we? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not what I thought it was gonna be. Aren't you gonna cut it? You don't cut it, you break it open. Okay. Oh. I think this will be nice. It's called a sugar apple for a reason. Like, I mean, it smells really good, but it looks weird. She uses a spoon, the woman in the video, but I don't think you really need that. Oh wow. It just tastes good. It tastes like Haribo's or something. They're very little though, aren't they? There's hardly yeah. anything around the seed. Hers look like they have much more around the seed. Mm -hmm. But, it has a nice taste. Reminds me of something. Yeah. It's got like a bit of a pear texture to it, like when you have that gritty sort of... It's just the pips kind of. Like you can see, when you like spread it there. The next thing I think we should go with is these. These aren't typically Portuguese, but I was really curious to see if these are anything like the Jaffa cakes in the UK. They do have lime versions here as well, like a lime jelly and I think a blackcurrant one. Oh, okay. 
I've, I've seen them in the supermarket. Before. These are just the standard orange ones. Good for comparison, I suppose. <laughs> They're very similar, but they're good in for me. Sponge is a bit softer, I think that could be the heat. Mm. Cinnabon, but with coconut instead of cinnamon. If that makes sense, like the same texture and everything. Like, what I get it again? Do not. What do you think? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. The rest of mine. Sure. You don't like it. You don't like coconut. Though. You don't like nuts. So. Yeah, and I wouldn't eat. I kind of like the bready bit either. Mm. I wouldn't really, yeah, I would never pick that. It's not bad, I just mm. don't like it. I just it's not worth it. Mm. But it's interesting to try. Someone that likes coconut is nice because there's not many coconut kind of yeah. things out there, is there? So. Maybe that one because I'm dreading that one. This one? I would never pick that. Because the, this is like an iconic. Yeah, but I would never. We see this everywhere. There's different versions of it. You've tried different things. And... Yeah. Oh. What's it taste like? It's just like custard, like it's not bad. is better and the, the custard inside is sweet. It doesn't taste bad but it just seems all wrong to me. The texture's wrong. It just shouldn't go together, should it? I think it's fine. The locals love it, but it's it looks things. It tastes good. You can buy these in England as well, like, aren't you, like, they're quite, not quite common, but I would say you can get them, like, I'm sure you can get them in Asda and places like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can. They're usually brown on top, though, like, where they've been. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm not really a donut person, and this has, like, some kind of weird cream custody whatever it is inside. I wonder if it's like orange but then it doesn't say orange on the packaging so I'm definitely not eating that much. <laughs> I just want a tiny wedge. It's not orange either. I just tasted some of the custard. Right there. That's just a custard donut that you'd get at Briggs. That's weird. <laughs> it's not like custard though. I think it is. So, would you eat that one again? Yeah. It's nice, but I'm not a donut person, so... The stuff inside is nice, but the donut bit ruins it for me. Mm. It doesn't taste bad though. So the palm, whatever it's called, the palmier thing. We tried like 
a mini one of these last time in biscuit form. Yeah. In our last video. But this one is like a giant pastry. It's basically like a croissant, but sweeter, isn't it? I've never had one. Oh. Basically, like a you can taste there's a lot of butter that's put into that one. A little bit. So the thing that I've wanted the whole time that we've been here is the salame, or whatever it's called, salami type stuff. <laughs> it looks like black pudding. Um, we've seen it everywhere we've gone, um, and you've been asking for ages, but it's quite expensive. Um, but we finally decided to get it for this video, really. Oh, have the smaller bit, please. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so it kind of looks like to me really dense brownie. Bits of biscuit. With in biscuit there. in. It is like brownie. It's really good. <laughs> really rich. Really dense. You can taste the sugar. Mm. Yeah, it's like when you don't fully cook a brownie and then they've let it kind of set a bit but then compressed it. Mm. And then nice, put a biscuit in. A nice but aftertaste. Unless it's just like white, with the bits of white cake. No, it's really just turned, I don't know. I don't know how they do it. I don't know. But it's good. Very rich. If you like chocolate brownies, you'll like this. Yeah, definitely. Oh wow, that's like... I knew it was a strong beer, it's 6 point... It says it somewhere. 6.2% Sabres... Sagas? <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. I do apologise for any Portuguese people out there that are cringing at my um, Portuguese pronunciation of that, but... There is like um, a normal sort of version of this, I think, which I have actually had out, um, which was like five percent, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Like a normal lager, which was really nice. Like I, I think that so far the Portuguese beers that I've had are nice and they're dirt cheap. So, but this, this is, is where this we is are good. anyway. Yeah. But yeah, um, that was an interesting mm. taste test. I feel a little bit sick now because that was very sweet. I love sweet stuff, yeah. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if there's any other things that are really common to Portugal or grown here or whatever or something other than fruit and cake, <laughs> then let us know in the comments or DM us on Instagram for ideas and if this video and the other video we did is popular then maybe we'll do another one in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, thanks, thanks guys. For watching. Yeah.